Man, I tell you what, it sure is nice and relaxing around here. I'm just... Whoa! What's that? A merch drop from TPD TV. I thought I'd never see the day. We got some great designs coming, like this one, and this one, and this one, and all these ones. <laughs> This will make the perfect Christmas gift for you or a loved one. We got loads of cool stuff. December 3rd, be there or be square. Now on to the Tramlines video. What you're about to see is the effect that the weather can have on a festival and why sometimes it's best to just embrace it. We haven't been to Tramlines for ages, which is a bit out of order because it takes place in our favourite city in England, Sheffield. But it's not all plain sailing because this torrential rain and terrible mud literally drives us out of this festival on the first day. So get your wellies on for the roller coaster that is Tramlines. We are TPD TV and this is the real deal. We are forever in debt to our incredible executive producers on Patreon. Without you, we could not keep making content. We love and appreciate every single one of you. They saw this video over a month ago. Join now using the link in the description and you can too. Oh, I'm feeling fragile today, Chuck. Me too, but and you know what? It's going to be a good day, innit? Of course it is. It's always a good day, mate. I need some food. I'm about to fucking die. Me too, and I'm a big boy, so if he's about to die, I'm already dying. Right then, here we are. The hungriest man in the world who hasn't even had a bag of crisps today, and it's already 2 p.m. <laughs> Please help me. I need some food. As we've entered tram lines, we've just heard a bit of the Everly Pregnant Brothers, who I love. And I bet you're thrilling. Oh, you're getting an angle from there while I'm getting an angle of you. Just getting a shot of these two walking. Oh, right, I'm hungry. Let's get some food. Oh my god, that is slippy. Fucking hell, that is slippery, isn't it? You know, it feels like oh, I won't say a name. I won't say a name, Val. 13 quid for the pizza. Any good? Let's find out. That's probably the biggest festival food ripoff I've ever fucking seen. No, the no Truck festival that we've just come from had a terrible drinks menu. And I'm pleased to say that Tramlines has an identical menu. No one wants Brewdog. Give us a fucking Stella, man. Brewdog is shite. Anyway, let's get a Brewdog. Just telling Jake that there's no situation ever where Converse is a good choice of shoe. You're at a festival, he's slipping everywhere, his feet are gonna be soaking, there's no grip on them, and they're dead as fuck. They rip up really easy, and they're cheap, super cheap, and they look it. But Johnny Knoxville wears them. There's no little about this one. Aside <laughs> like from his little cock. This stage right is called the lead mill. But you can tell it's not the lead mill because one thing's missing. The light. There's no lead mill light, so it doesn't count. What a great setup. It would be very easy to just have a backing track. Really like that. Very cool. We're gonna hook some ducks and see who wins the best prize. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, of course he's gonna be good at this. He's good at hooking, isn't he? The hook. Whoa, good one, Oh, Well done. No problem, mate. Eh? Right then, we're back in business. We've upgraded, we've upgraded to real diamond. <laughs> we all enjoyed that so much that wouldn't it be great if we could do it all day? Yeah. Well guess what? Uh, we can guys! <laughs> we can do it all day! <laughs> I like I like there's the double up. Let's go find the puzzle. Yeah, this is the <laughs> Great. It works so. Well, you lose. <laughs> yeah, you do. You lost the opportunity to come to my house. <laughs> Proper Christmas here. Endos. Endos, eh? So, what is Endos? 
go for me. So wandering around tramlines with cracked rib maybe, broken maybe. Fucking slip and slide down on floor again. These are shite man. Put some straw down. I don't understand why they'd ever it's think the worst it, of all it'd be worlds. a good idea. That really hurt Charlie. Tramlines, I came in on my own. Trying to find these is a bit of a nightmare and it's literally the muddiest festival I've been to all year. Um, and I've worn my nice trainers, so that's annoying. There's a lot of people who've made that mistake. I've been seeing a lot of people in like white trainers, shorts, little trainer socks and the legs are just covered in mud. You can enjoy a festival so much more when it's not shit weather. I know that's obvious, but not a vibe here right now. We just met a lad who kept calling Chucky Chunks, which I think is really funny. Since I've got here, I've noticed this smell and it, it's, I can't put my finger on it, but it just stinks here. And it's all around the entire place. I've done a lap trying to find you. It's, it's horrible. I think it's the mud. I know you think your coat's nice, but can it do this? <laughs> Can, eh? All right, we've got a secret set now, and um, it's a band that more festivals should book. This band would be brilliant headlining 2000 Trees, and they should be on the Reading and Leeds lineups. I don't know why they're not like a staple in the same way that like Two Door Cinema Club are. Book this band. This is a great secret set. <laughs> we've not had to experience mud like this in a long time so it's safe to say we've come very unprepared converse are probably according to these guys is never the right option but certainly the condition mine are in right now it really wasn't the right idea this is the queue for the toilets and it's been like 10 minutes since my fly finished so it's not like everyone's just stormed it i don't think we're ever gonna have a piss might just piss myself well let's just piss on the floor but you got you shouldn't be looking it's like a mexican standoff in it Hey guys, I think this place might be uh, oversold. Say it, the people who are still upset that it took them 40 minutes to get a pizza at Sandal are still annoyed at us. This mud is killing the vibe, man. Everyone's walking around like a fucking zombie. And the solution that they've got is to put this stupid, like, latex thing on the ground, which just makes it slippier. So we're going to try and get the fuck out of here before Blossoms and go and have some drinks in a brick and mortar place because this is shite. Just put straw everywhere, guys. That's the answer. Straw everywhere. They've got it in some places. Put it everywhere. Ad time. Folks, you've seen that we've been all over the country this year and you know Jake and I don't drive. We are always on trains and that's why I'm really excited to tell you about the sponsor for this video, our friends at TrainPal. TrainPal is an essential travel app which helps you find the cheapest rail tickets across the UK and Europe. They split the journey up into individual separate little tickets which maximises how much you save and on top of that, there's no booking fees. You can save even more money using Railcard but if you don't have one, don't worry, use our special code TPD to get 34% off all different types of rail cards. There's even 5% you can save on train ticket vouchers. So use that code. It's really easy to remember. Just three letters. TPD. Wow, so easy. Here I am on a real train to tell you about Train Pals Black Friday deals. They have got 5% off all train tickets and up to 10% off when stacked using our code. You remember it, it's TPD. Three letters, super simple. They've also got a flash sale on rail cards with 50% off. 50% off, that's almost half price. We are super excited to be working with TrainPal. We've got more than ever planned next year and using TrainPal, we're gonna save a big chunk of change and we can use that money to buy some beers at some festivals, which you know we like. So download TrainPal now using 
the link in the description. And don't forget the special code TPD. Tell them that we sent you. Get yourself on the rails, saving some money, so we can continue to get off the rails. Thanks so much, Train Pal, for sponsoring this video. We love you. Now back to the content. A Dover. God, I tell you, it's obviously not the festival's fault about the weather. The weather is actually fine. It's just the remnants of yesterday's weather. But it really takes it out of you. After doing truck festival for two days and then coming here, so it's our third day really. Just walking about, it's a chore, isn't it? And I feel like we've been spoiled the last like year and a bit. There's really not that many muddy festivals anymore, is there? Yeah, and it, it, I know, like I can see the comments. World download in 2009 was much worse. I know, you know what? but guess what? Shut up. You're not here, and you didn't see that monstrosity of a situational. Shit, I don't know what I'm saying. The queue for the toilet, basically. We want just the length of the queue, because they want really a queue. It's the way that they funneled people into a really little space. And then it opened up. Because of the mud, everyone's slipping into each other. It's Terrible. Shit, but we're out now for an hour or so. We need to get as drunk as possible on Mr. JD Weatherspoons' tab. Oh, thank God. Best place in the world. So trying to order some drinks in Weatherspoons using the app. It's obviously fucking brilliant, and it always works great. But then an interesting little bug that we've run into. Right. We don't let you order two orders. So we're trying to order Jake a drink now because he was slow and running behind, would you believe? Who'd and he's know? broke. And he's a broke ass, ho ass, trick ass. And, um, and it's saying it looks like you've already placed an order. Do you want to place another one? So you say yeah, and then it goes no. Nope. What did you get? All summer long, just call me Kid Rock. All summer long, I've been craving an ice cold bottle of Corona with a nice slice of lime in the bottle. And I thought I ordered one, and look what they fucking give me. Not even two cubes of ice in there. Right, we've had a couple in the spoons and we're feeling refreshed and re-energized and ready for one of my what i think is maybe one of my favorite bands the old blossoms so hopefully the mud doesn't kill the vibe again and uh, we can enjoy them back to hell it was so nice to just not be in this fucking like slip and slide of mud and here we are it's the return of the market. Slip and slide on the moon. I want to have a little game with you. Yeah. How long is it going to be until Mary drops a phone in the mud? Ooh, that's a good question. Blossom's on in like 20 minutes. I say half an hour. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to say... So 40 minutes. 40 or 14? 40, 4 zero. <laughs> He's had his hair done. He's had his hair done. Looks nice. The Sefton Park pilot, which was one of the best days of my life, and because of that, they're forever ingrained in my mind as a great time. This is interesting at this part of the festival, the toilets are just unisex. <laughs> That, that latex thing was a good idea, man. Sensible. Not really. Rob crep check. Van skate high. What's good is it's seeped into his socks. You just can't tell, but it's completely seeped into his socks. Oh. Hello, Mister. This is better than Cortinas. Oh. Look how big this oh. is compared to me. Not <laughs> the same amount of facial hair as Rob. <laughs> Feeling 
good? Yeah, I'm feeling happy, mate. What about yeah. you? I'm feeling happy. Right, normally, I just do my normal. I want to get a little bit more fucked up. Right? But I think I'm going to put it in the nice magic glass. Like a year ago. Oh, it's curdling. Right, so normally at the end of tram lines, we always go to the lead mill for a boogie. But I think we're going to do that tomorrow if it's on. And tonight we're going to do a bit of a bar crawl. I'm going to take us to a couple of places. Um, we're going to maybe play some drinking games. Maybe get a little fucky, how you say. Yeah. Yeah. What do do? What do do? <laughs> Welcome to the tram lines video where we walk around for what seems to be an eternity. Just because Jockey says it's a good idea. Reminder to never listen to Jockey ever again. We're here in a bar called Fagans. Fagans, which is, fun fact, uh, the drummer from the Arctic Monkeys, Matt Helders, apparently owns this bar. They can't be painted too well because it's a shit up. It's rammed, we're all soaking wet. <laughs> I've had like a weird vodka orange that isn't, that's like half topped up with orange, it's awful. Whatever. Ooh, are you hungry, Raz? Look, there's a bit of food in front of us. <laughs> I dare you to buy one. Oh mate, that's definitely been left out all day. <laughs> that's, I, I, like, in fact, in fact not, not with your ass. ass. Where's the vessies now? <laughs> to walk 500 miles to bed. It's been a long fucking day. It's been a long day, on it? But you know what? We're going to do it all over again tomorrow, but longer. Hey, I'll tell you what. One thing we can, uh, one thing we can agree on. Yeah. Fuck Danny White. Fuck Danny White, man. Where you been, mate? Where the fuck you been? Yes. Oh, menu outside as well. I just asked for a chicken wrap with uh, chili sauce. I got it in my hand within like 10 seconds. Really? That was quick, that one. That was very Jesus good. Christ. Big up Aslan's man. I never, I never trusted you before when you were taking me through that door in the wardrobe, but now I do. Yeah. Oh, right then. Where are we at? Sheffield. It was a long day yesterday, it was a tough day, it was a tiring day, wet, muddy and uncomfortable. But we've got another day of the festival left. Now, yesterday zapped it out of us. So we're going to spend a good amount of time not at the festival, just enjoying ourselves today. Just treating ourselves to some brick and mortar, some pubs and Nando's. It's going to be lovely. And then we're going to go in for a good run of bands. They've actually had to delay the festival today just because the weather's so bad, which is validated for me because it proves I'm not just a princess. <laughs> Hello, we're here in Nando's and we just want to wish Harry and Romy a big congratulations. Do you wish congratulations? sound on it. Like even with the miscellaneous like tapping, it still sounds pretty pleasant, doesn't it? Yeah. Let me try. Like you've been tricked into thinking I knew how to play this. The tram line's fringe has really gone downhill. What are you doing? I'm not doing it, mate. <laughs> Just do it. No, if there's too much liquid in there for you to drop that. <laughs> it's like a Jaeger bomb. So what you do is you go... <laughs> <laughs> Literally, camera lenses, it, that could have been catastrophic. Right, before we go into Mudfest 2023, we're going to show you something called Tramlines Fringe, which is what Tramlines used to be, I've learned back in the day. It used to be free, and this bit still is free, 
So me and Vals are getting a famous Sheffield drink. So you start off with a vodka, then you get tonic. Now this is an important ingredient. Two cubes of ice, but it's missing just one thing. Slice of lime. Well, it's no surprise, it's his round, cheers. Spit it again. Oh, I think you gotta go around side. Oh. With a big bag as well. It's fully boxed off. The most jankiest Barbie doll you'll ever see. This is the best vintage shop I've been in. It's, it's best one in Sheffield. Valentino Rossi was a big name in our house because our dad loved Val everything on number 46. Genuinely, like. We had so much fans. But the mugs and everything. Not quite the mugs, oh, but lots fake of fridge fans. magnets. Fridge magnets. Now he will. You'll see his reaction. He will love this. He will. It won't fit him necessarily. It'll be quite tight, but he'll love it. I think the fringe is a really good idea because it means that all the businesses in the city centre don't miss out on all like the new people coming in because there is something like another incentive for people to come into town and not just go straight to the festival. Okay, Rob's wearing a pretty basic outfit today, plain black tee, I thought that's just that show. And you know what? You're gonna love this. I know you will. It's not even a joke. <laughs> it, it is great. I don't know if it will work to with today's outfit. Oh, no. No, no. I could maybe wear it to tomorrow, lad. Even if you don't wear it today, I thought you would love that. No, it's great. Very well we love getting you new pieces of clothing. Yeah. And I thought Mary's getting you something nice, something that you, you appreciate. I'll I'll get you something nice as well that you appreciate. That'll <laughs> <laughs> be nice. Have a vodka and tonic, 18 cubes of rice and a slice of rice. I mean, uh, uh, disgusting tonic. I can't even try and enjoy my drink, man. If you drink tonic water, you are fully wrong. So we're gonna check out. I think we've only got time to check out maybe one more fringe venue. But it was nice in there in Bungalow and Bears. It's a, it's a nice venue. The good thing about this is all the pubs understand that you're gonna be moving between venues, so they serve you everything in a pint glass, which is plastic, and that means you can take it wherever you want. Places, and then half of it were free, and then over the years. They... Well, there's no going on here. No, the rain really detracts from your experience with this as well. This festival is called Tram Lines for a reason, isn't it, Hannah? Mm hmm And what is the reason? Because we get on the tram lines. Yeah. Stand on it again. <laughs> That's what we're about to do. Right, I'm the man who needs the most piss. There's a, se the there's a sentence in there somewhere. Help me have a piss somewhere. My Converse are done now, so I've had to put these on because these are the oh, only shoes I had with me. Only shoes you had, eh? My trainers are cleaner today, but my socks are soaked right. already. We've been here for five minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. I'm day. The sky is so I tell you what's annoying about this. I could do this. Yeah. But the issue is I'm dateable. <laughs> Oh, definitely not. <laughs> you could find yourself on that TV show just to say. Hey, big up Daniel Wakefield. He's actually got some great crowd engagement. He's done a good... I said Wakeford before you try and pull me up on it. Oh, He's, I don't know. Go to BA. Go to BA. BA what? Oh, it's not BA. BAR. BAR. B-A-G-I-N-A right here, man. Get yourself a drink, I say. Oh, hold this it. is mad. Hold Jesus, this. Oh, hold really? hand is unbearable right now. I'm having to switch because it's fucking spitting, man. Fucking hell. I'm in a hurricane right now. It's storm. I really hope Vessi sponsor this video. Is we it? don't know who's sponsoring it yet, if anyone. But this would be great if we all rocked up in the Vessis. I mean, it's too late now, but <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. I would just like to take a moment to truly acknowledge and discuss 
how very uncomfortable I am. Oh, that's a rain, raindrop on my camera lens. Because we know we're going home, the rain's not an issue. We're all quite happy about it, all these us three. We look like, we look like, we look like how a colorblind person sees a traffic light. It's great at this festival because they do free refills. <laughs> and a nice and clean. See, it's also pretty cool because they do free shoe cleaning here as well. <laughs> oh, free valet on the old van. <laughs> it looks like they've learned and put hair on the stupid bloody thing, but it's all come off now. I hate to be the person that one ups everyone, but I've got two worms on my shoe. <laughs> right, it's dinner time and I hope you know to show you this one thing, I mean this is free press for little, but to show you this one thing, we have just traversed through the trenches of World War One. Every man in our squad has now got trench foot and I want to see you all wearing a poppy next year for us. So this is the little booth thing and it means you can get an alcoholic drink which is Prosecco and a banger which is a sausage all for £9.50. I think that's a pretty good meal deal to be fair. You're up. What do you think? <laughs> what, what do I say? Can I have a banger and prosy please? You got your money's worth there Jay. Yeah but I've also been a bit of an idiot because I don't have any napkins or any forks so. Well good news if you get on your hands just hold your hands out. What? I can piss it off your hands if you want. This is not what I signed up for. Look at that hand shaking. <laughs> My foot went fully under a puddle. Yeah, it's three <laughs> minutes. I'm embracing now. Right, everyone in Sheffield in the world, global, X-Men 3, the last stand, comment section, are you good or bad? Let me know. <laughs> Viva Wolverine. Shoes are really dirty, so I think now's the opportunity now to clean them. Yep, I agree. Cool. Right. All right, everyone in the swimming pool, get your kicks clean. Get your kicks clean. Don't mind the water. You're already wet. What he said. Well, here we are, getting on the bus. 
I'm so uncomfortable. I can't even describe. Oh, your phone's full of water in back as well. Hey, you mean to a festival, mate? There was a festival on, wasn't there? It was. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey. Oh, no. Oh, the shoes. Oh, let me just put my hand in the really yucky jeans. God, these are so heavy for a pair of jeans. Oh, there he is. The what through the what? The genel. The what? The genel. The ginnel. Fuck off. Single man, reveal yourself. And darling. These are the shittest, cheapest, shittest fucking shoes I've ever worn. I've got to admit, these are kind of similar. It feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Still tram lines technically, and um, we've just come out of bunk and we're in music from Crystal that's not music that we normally hear from Crystal. So I think we're gonna go and see what it's about. was excellent very very good Listen how the devil you doing yeah. what a great what a great little indie well not really indie but very good we liked it we liked it a lot well we've been to this venue enough to know that you've always got a home here and a place you've come to with like-minded people ben. the best time of the outside world ben. so once again Sheffield this song is for you guys tonight Full of I'll tell you what, what was that place called? Molly Malls. So we had a very unhinged 20 to 30 minutes in there, but I think that's a great spot. Yeah, it is yeah, good. Look how you do I, I really enjoyed that. There was so, there much, was so much to see. There was so much that went on. We'll have there. to get that on the podcast. And, and so remember what happened in there. It wasn't too mad, but like, there was just a lot going on. What's, what's wrong with you? Fucking what? drove through a fucking puddle and got me all wet. And I said to him, calm down, we were kicked in mud like three hours ago. And he's complaining with a bit of water like he's pissed himself. Come on, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Yeah, all right tonight, everybody. I'm, I'm great tonight. What was the other song we listened to earlier? How the devil are. We're here in a museum of what human beings used to drink in 2023 in this exhibit. It is 2023. I know, but that's the point, isn't it? It's like we're in a time capsule. Why else would the shop be like this unless my man's doing something dodgy as fuck? Jeez, look at this man. I don't know what my point was. <laughs> <laughs> We're going home, it's not even late, it's quarter past one, and this has maybe been, you might not think it now, but the most fun and eventful and memorable night out we've ever had. I'm gonna do a quick bullet point recap, and you're never gonna find out why it's been funny. Um, so where do we start? Oh, chicken wings. Chicken, chicken wings. How the devil are you doing? Um, neck deep. Neck deep. 18, 18 year old girl. Frankie. Frankie. Then where did we go? <laughs> Borgie. <laughs> no, 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 no. Aggressive guitarist. Oh. Me and Chucky in a cloning machine. With Emerson. Aggressive guitarist. Liam Gallagher. Liam Gallagher. Dave Grohl. <laughs> Dave Grohl. <laughs> Paraphernalia. <laughs> Paraphernalia. Blossoms. Nightmare of Jake Varley. <laughs> Nightmare of Jake Varley. <laughs> Borgie. Not paying for the drink. <laughs> Ollie Sykes, gay pride flag, <laughs> gay pride flag, <laughs> and all of that has happened tonight, so you can fill in the gap wherever you like, but that has been a great night, a brilliant night, <laughs> Heineken's, <laughs> <laughs> devil you 
<laughs> well, do you know what? We ended up having a really good time at Tramlines. Those memories of dancing in the mud to the Kaiser Chiefs is forever now ingrained in there as one of the one of the absolute highlights of not only this festival season but the whole uh, the whole kind of last few years of, of going to festivals. Ended up really good. Um, this was a really kind of emotional roller coaster of like, God, we were so tired. We'd just come straight from Truck Fest, which I think we probably wouldn't do two in one weekend next year, but we were really trying to maximize what we show you this year. But I think we've learned a few lessons there, but um, all in, really, really happy that we ended up going to tram lines. Um, sorry it was a washout for you. I'm sorry, we can't, we can only blame the um, the clouds for that one. It's obviously no one's fault, but it did kind of drive us out of there. Um, thanks for having us, and of course, a huge, huge thank you to our Patreon supporters on screen right now. If it wasn't for you lot, we would not be able to do this, and I know I say that every week, but I really do mean it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart and from all the rest of the team at TPD TV. We love you, and we will see you very, very soon. The rest of this year, I promise you, is stacked. You're gonna love it. We've got festivals, we've got travel videos. You're gonna love it, and Patreon is the place to see it first. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon. Mwah.